Uh, yeah, this is Bang Bang Ray Hill. Um, I'm one of them, I'm one of them people, yeah, that like um, to keep yourself sober. Uh, don't get drunk. Uh, don't take drugs at that time, yeah. Uh, just always, always sober, mate, and no, no drugs. And then I got into the in, into the drugs and um, got into the crack. Um, at a row, I was at Kingston, and then moved to Brentford Docks. The docks at uh, Brentford, yeah. Moved there for quite some time, and uh, got on crack really, really bad there. And uh, I was doing oh, fortunes, a lot, a lot of money. You know what I mean? A grand a day. I mean, five hundred pound a day was nothing. A grand a day was like was quite easy. And you know? it don't sound, it don't, it sounds a bit impossible, but believe me, it ain't impossible, yeah. And I've started uh, getting a bit skint. You know, paying the rent for the place and this, that, and the other. And uh, so I moved I moved uh, to a place called Stepping House in Labbert Grove. Anybody know that? And uh, anyway, I was on a tenth floor there. Uh, on the crack, I was on the crack really, really bad. And that was, and, and you say, and, uh, as I was telling you before, I like to keep myself fit, I like to keep myself well. I'm always aware, yeah? But on the crack, and a coke, I wasn't aware, but more so the crack that, that really took over my body. Yeah? And one day I'll come down, I'll come down my stepping house to meet some people about getting some getting some stuff here. Yeah? And I uh, met this guy on a on a on a bike and a, a little scooter bike, and uh, paid him paid him two hundred quid. He gave me a thing one upstairs, and it was a, a white rock here. Yeah? A rock come on about a rock from a street, you know, like a rock, it wasn't quack, it was just a rock that went fucking mad. I mean, come on, you've got your last 200 quid, you give it to someone to have a night, to have a little blast, and your wine's up selling you a rock. Listen, I hunted everywhere for this guy, I was going mad all around, all around the bush, Gold Rock Road, everywhere, mate. I looked for this guy, I was going absolutely crazy, I'd have killed him, you know what I mean? It was one of the things, just went mad. What in my crack, you know, mad. It don't, it don't seem possible that I was even there, you know, uh, then, you know. And um, anyway, so I want to see if you, because when you're on that crack, you can walk miles, you know, you always, don't know, somehow, somehow you get money, yeah. I met a couple of my pals in Shepherds, Shepherdswood Road, yeah, and I, I got some money, about 60, 70 quid. And then when it got a bit of crack, went up my place, had a spoke, and, and I, I thought quite nice, you know what I mean. The next day, I'm looking for this geezer with a bike. I'm looking everywhere for this guy on the back, bike. I got all of a couple of girls that I know. I asked them, do they know this guy? I said, yeah, he's just off the gold road. I said, I've been walking around the gold road. I couldn't, I mean, he must, well, he showed me where he was, yeah? I waited for this guy. Worst thing I ever did, yeah, all my life. I waited for this guy. And he come out, yeah, and I walked over to him. But as I walked over to him, about six or seven guys, black guys, white guys, mixed race guys, sort of come out around him at that time, yeah? There's me shouting all the way, and I'm going to like smash his lights in. Mate, swear to God, I've had some good ideas in my life, you know, boxing and all this, that and the other. We all get it. It all happens, it all happens to us. These people, right, they set about me something. I mean, I was doing what I could do, but you're on crack. You're, you're, not, you're not there, mate. You're in, in, in cuckoo lounge, yeah? You're weak. You don't feel strong. You're still a bit nutty. You're, I, I've got to say something. I'm quite, you're mad, yeah? You do anything. I'm fighting like a lunatic. Um, but they've hit me with all sorts of things, yeah? Bats. Everything, mate. They smashed me to pieces. They've got me on the floor. They kick me around again. I'm trying to defend myself. I can't, yeah? I got really, really obliged. I got smashed up really bad. My face was smashed up. My ribs was black and blue. I was in a bad, bad way, yeah? And I decided, I thought, it was the only thing I could do really is go to the hospital, because I was bad, you know what I mean? My, my, I mean, I was on crack. I was in a bad way, yeah? And when I got there, I got into Chain Cross Hospital, full of, full of, uh, in Amersmith, Amersmith Road, yeah? And I got in there, and I, I, I said to Pearl, I said, I've been, just been bashed up. I said, really, really bad. My face is smashed to pieces, yeah? I said, um, I'm on I'm on crack cocaine as well, you know. Which I, you know I don't feel I can't really feel the pain, but um, I've been on crack a lot, you know. And I, I just told them to, so they got me in there very quick, and um, they give me a jab, 
they, you know, just make me feel a bit better. And I felt really relaxed and nice, you know, not high on crack, yeah. I felt really nice and thing. They smashed all my ribs. I mean, they're not broke no ribs, but they just smashed them black and blue. They smashed all my side. Um, they smashed all my shoulders with baseball bats. Um, they smashed my face up really, really bad. I mean, come on, I'm on crack, mate. You know what I mean? If I hadn't been on crack, it wouldn't have happened. You know, it couldn't have happened. You know what I mean? I reckon I could have took the six or seven on, but I'd have bashed up the, the I'd have bashed, knocked out the, the ones that were in the, the top one. So the bottom ones just run away, yeah? But being on crack, didn't know, just come from all, all angles, got smashed to pieces. As I say, I went to the hospital, uh, they smashed, they done my side, bandaged my side up, done my face, put a couple of stitches in my, my eyes and things like that, yeah? And, was, you know, they said, look, you better stay over to, over at night tonight just in case because they really smashed all your ribs and your chest. I mean, I can't have that. I can't, I can't stay all right, yeah. And I got out of bed and went home, yeah. And I went stepping out, spit to my place, you know. And now, do you know, it's, I mean, they give me a jab, they give me an injection to stop the feeling of being high and on crack. But when you're on crack, you're on crack, isn't it? You know what I mean? And you're trying to forget, you're trying to put out your mind, you know. But I couldn't, you know. And uh, I went out and see some people. Got a bit of stuff on Bell, went up to my place, back on the pipe. Worst thing I could have did, yeah. Honestly, I was in a bad, bad way, mate. I tell you, how I never just killed over, I don't know. I should have just killed over, really. I mean, it, I couldn't breathe. Taking a crack, I couldn't breathe. Honestly, my nose was smashed, my mouth, they done something to my throat, they kicked me around. I couldn't breathe, you know? I was in the right bad way, I thought I was going to kill over, you know. I laid in bed, I woke up in the morning, thank God I did wake up in the morning. You know, and I thought, so that's it. I'm not touching drugs anymore. Finished. I don't want it no more, mate. It's, I mean, it, honestly, it was, I could have easy died. That shadow doubt, easy died. Easy. And uh, it, I just went, no, nah, no more for me. No more crack. And I come out of there, and I step in the house and just walk down the road, see a mate of my early wise. Um, me and Ernie got on really, really well. And I went to see Ernie. Um, and Ernie right, took me out for a bit of dinner and, you know, said to me, Ray, get off that fucking shit, mate. You look really bad, Ray. You know, I mean, from a guy that would be 19, 20 stone, go down to about 12 stone, you know, and 12 stone's not good for me, you know what I mean? What am I now, 18 stone? So you can imagine another six stone off of that is, is bad, and I ain't. I'm still quite muscular, but I've lost all that. I'd lost it all, yeah, all that instinct. And you know, I said, listen, mate, do sort of favour, right? Stop it, mate. Stop the crack, mate. Don't get on that crack no more. Stop it. Start training, yeah? Start doing a bit of gym work. Do something, mate. Because if you don't, you're going to be dying. You're going to kill yourself, yeah? And I thought, mate, I've got to start trying to do something, you know? I mean, I had no, I had no money. I was completely skint. So in the flat, in stepping out, I do press-ups, sit-ups, burpees, leg fry, all them sorts of things, yeah? But I just couldn't get myself around it no more. And uh, that's when I met a pal of mine. And he got me into this, um, the one I got the RPP for, the mobile phone warehouse. He got me into that, yeah. And, and I thought, you know, I mean, even getting into that, even get me getting into that, I've done, I've done about what, I don't know, a quarter, a quarter an ounce a uh, rock, yeah on crack before I even went into the mobile phone warehouse and robbed it. I mean, don't forget, I'm dressed as SO19 with a mask up here and everything, you know what I mean? And my mates, not mates, people that have put on me, they they were custom and excise, they had all the uniforms. And it's just like, it was a coup, you know what I mean? And it was like something, if I'd have been more together right, at that time, um, instead of hurting people, doing people, I would have come out with maybe two or three million pounds of phones, rather than just coming out with a little bit, you know. One point three million pounds a lot of phones, you know what I mean? But it, when you leave, when you leave half a container there, when you leave all that there just to get away, and so you're thinking to yourself, well, I want to get away. This is my my money, you know what I mean? This is like I could go back, sell a few of these phones, 
go back, get my, go and get myself an ounce of crack and just, and just enjoy myself. That's all it was about, crack cocaine. Do you know what I mean? And now I, I think to myself, what the fuck did I do? What did I do to get on that drug like crack? The worst thing I ever did. Yeah, but I needed to do that. I needed to do that. You know what I mean? I was on coke. And then my daddy left me, and then I went to Brentford Docks, met my mate Compton, and I got on the crack, and Ario got on the crack really, really bad. I mean, really bad. I mean, you know, do a grand a day, mate, is um, is bad, you know what I mean? And then, and then just go mad, go mad. Anyway, uh, it's only a little, little podcast about crack cocaine and bits and pieces like that, yeah, but um, please press the like button and subscribe. There's a big, big story about uh, what happened on crack, you know, what I've got on crack and what I've done and this and the other, but I'll say it another day, yeah? Take care, bye-bye.